Our UK farms are a workhorse. The one thing that we don't want to see is crop wasted. We are recruiters in the sector for farmers. We bring over lots of EU labour to support our UK farms. The current situation has led us to the Feed the Nation campaign where we've formed an alliance with a couple of our competitors, Concordia and Fruitful Jobs, to approach the UK workforce to see if they can support our farmers. And it's been amazing. They have applied in their thousands. But the interesting statistic is that only 19% of people that are registering interest are actually committing to doing an interview. Historically, it's very difficult to recruit locally. We don't get a huge amount of applicants for the jobs, so you don't have a huge amount of choice as you know when, when, when you're looking through those applications. It's difficult to find local people who will want to work just for a summer. You know, if, if you're living locally, you've got bills to pay and things like that, and really you're looking for 12 months work. It's a seasonal job. People aren't willing to relocate from their homes for a, for a four to six month placement within the UK. That just doesn't suit the UK's labour requirements. So we do bring people over from the EU to, to supplement this and those pools are drying up. Generally speaking, we start to get busy in March when we start planting things. At that time, we were expecting a team of probably 15 or 16 people from Romania and, and other parts of Europe to come over and help us. And when lockdown happened, it happened so quickly um, that pretty much none of them were able to get over. In the meantime, hundreds of thousands of Brits were left high and dry and out of work. So when we advertised locally for work, um, which we normally do and we get sort of, we get applications but not that many. We advertised for I think 15 jobs and this time we had over 250 applicants. Before lockdown started I was in construction um, and I was kind of two years into that and trying to build up a lot more experience but I'm quite happy in the meantime here. Could have ended up in worse places, that's for sure. I've been working here for about six weeks now. I don't think I knew what to expect, really. I'd obviously read that it was really hard work and backbreaking, and in all honesty, I didn't think I'd cope. I've definitely had aches and pains and bruises, and I'm working through them, because that's what you do when you've got something you enjoy doing. I was nicely surprised at the, uh, the pace of work. No one's whipping you or <laughs> telling you to go faster constantly and yeah it seems like there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff in place to look after the workers you know it doesn't pay much less than my construction role was and um, in fact it probably pays better than when I was chefing. I want a job which I can do and get on with it and it's a task that I can take pride in I can use skills and I can learn how to do it well and do it faster and do it better and I get to work outside in so far sunshine amongst a group of lovely people. So what HOPs have done to be able to connect our farms and these workforce that are available for short-term roles is develop a new app. So farms and workers can click on an app and, and very smoothly connect to one another and, and help each other for a week or a day or two weeks or longer um, until we can get the EU workforce over. And I know there's some really mixed messages in the media about why that EU workforce is still coming over. The UK workforce is only a small percentage of what we will need for this sector. And the EU workforce, we work together. They're a fantastic support system for us. And they are returnees. They've got the skill sets. And they're going to help complement the UK workforce that we're going to have. Yeah.